there's a thing. Ah! Help! Air? This is just like at Cave Mock. Is there an air crane here too? What do we do? Charge right in. I don't think so. Judith is right. Touching air that thick is dangerous. I I can't believe that something like that would s save me. Wait. Ah! It looks like we'll have to keep our distance. W what's this sh shaking? Is that the monster you were talking about, Carol? No! I've never seen a monster like that before! It eats the air? I can move. You're not getting away again. Rita, be careful! Don't worry, it's not harmful at its current density. What the hell just happened? The monster we just saw somehow normalized the air crane that was out of control. But that would mean that it can control the air. Could it be the same thing that guy did with his sword back in Cave Mock? Can we pass through it? Rita! Oh, uh, right. It should be okay. What's the matter? I have to figure this out. I mean, this is what I'm traveling for. Come on, Rita. I know, I know. We have to follow him, but I just... That air cranny isn't exactly going anywhere, is it? Of course not, you idiot. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, let's go. All right. Carol, are you okay? Y yeah. Peachy. No, really, I'm fine. That monster's power. Was that the Rizomata formula too? Monster that consumes air? Just what was that creature? It did seem different from other monsters somehow. Yeah, that's for sure. It also looked like it was staring at us. Maybe it was wondering which of us to eat first. It, it looked into my eyes for quite a long time, actually. How nice for you. You must have thought you looked the tastiest. I don't think I'd call that nice. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that she looks the tastiest. I never would have guessed there would be an air crane in the Weezen of Kados. I guess nobody passing through ever noticed it. It must not have been putting out enough air until now for anyone to feel the effects. Sure picked the perfect time to start going crazy. That was a serious pain. Well, I was able to log a new discovery, so it worked out in the end. Yeah, so glad you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, I, I normally wouldn't expect there to be much of anything in a wee's end of Kratos, or whatever it's called. That was a really long... Anyways. Supposedly, someone has been telling me that I haven't been uh, using uh, the critical guard. I don't even know how to do that. I don't even know what it is. It's like advanced guard. Some, uh, some characters don't even have it. I think Yuri does. Whoa. Someone kill the bugbear, please. Someone. Yeah. That works. Go ahead, repeat. We've got characters I don't normally use here. I still got positive grade out of that. I don't know how. Uh. Okay, that works. What's with you, Carol? You've been nervous for a while now. Come on, we'll lose Rigae if we don't hurry up. But. But there might be dangerous monsters in there! What are you talking about? We can't just take this sitting down! We can't let him have that box, Carol! I'm just a little tiny, eensy weensy bit curious as to why he took that box. So let's find out. I don't know if you all are brave or crazy, 
I guess I'm outvoted? Oh, I've had enough of this. I'll blast away Rigay and the monsters. Let's go. Come on, Carol. Don't you want to know why you stole a box that we stole from somebody else who died like 5,000 years ago? So let's just take a look. Skills for Judith. Uh, aerial arts on my weapon. Aerial force. Critical guard. I have that turned off, actually. Um, I'm probably going to be terrible at it, but let's... Let's test it out. For no other reason than because someone's complaining about it. Uh, so we got a treasure chest up here. Jiraiya! Let's go take a look at what Repeat has. I still haven't been able to equip the Takemi Kazuchi. Maybe I should have... Yeah, I think I need to bring him into the party for a while. I don't need Yuri to level up much anyways. I think I actually need to uh, do a little bit of grinding. The next boss is like level 33 or something. Let's hit this guy. Or miss. I mean, I think I've always said that I am not the best at this game. So it kind of makes sense that I wouldn't be using all of the uh, correct stuff for thing. All right, who? That was probably for Yuri. And look, we actually can use this. Awesome. Uh, what about Estelle? Can she use back this way? I don't think she can use anything. Uh, that's worse. That's worse. Yeah, that that it's worse, even though defense goes up. Uh, that's for agility up, attack down, magic up. Is she? She's done. Yeah. Okay. Should have noticed that one earlier. Experience share. Work on that, repeat. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna end up doing some grinding before hitting the next boss. This is gonna go badly otherwise. I actually meant to do some grinding before I even came in here, but, uh, somebody, somebody had to go start a skit. And over here we have a silver circlet. I'm pretty sure that's equipable on Rita. And perhaps I should put it on her instead. Just because. Alright, and that's the end of that pathway. And I believe the only last pathway is up here. So I'm going to go do a little bit of grinding, and if I see any skits, I'll record them for you. So see you guys in a bit. Wow, the days just fly by. What's with you all of a sudden? Oh, I've just been thinking about how strong we've grown without even realizing it. That's because we have terrible luck. What does getting stronger have to do with having bad luck? We keep running into one mess after another. The Empire, the Guilds, everybody hates us. So all this bad luck made us fight, and so we got stronger. Is that really luck? It's all right, Carol. As we travel, the winds of luck are little by little turning in our favor. Exactly. Luck just flies by too, like the wind. Yuri, you're kind of missing the point. Hey guys, this is Future Jeeves doing some post commentary here. I decided to go and take a look at this guy afterwards. Um, I leveled up all my characters, I think once or twice, and uh, I figured the last time I was so close to beating him, I had him down to like 2,000 HP, and I just couldn't quite get to him. That's why you saw me charging at him with. First arts. That's why you saw me charging at him with Judith when I was, you know, definitely going to die. So uh, I was trying to see if I could kill him at the last second, which wouldn't have been much good anyways because no one would have gotten the XP for it. But basically, this guy is enough guy. He uh, he hits hard, you know, really hard. He uh, has a lot of defense and he hides in his shell a lot. As with I believe all of the Giganto monsters, they don't have a secret mission, so you don't really have anything to do here. 
One thing I dislike about this game is the AI is not very smart. Like, normally in these games, I'm better than the AI for Judith and Yuri, which is just sad because I suck at this game. So why would I ever be better than, than either of them? But yeah, when Overlimit comes, uh, Yuri and Rita run up to him. Now, if I were playing as Rita, I would never be using any of these physical arts. I believe I could set, shut it off on the strategy. I probably ought to do that soon. But uh, she's weak to water. So what I need to do is is go in and set her arts to... Uh, to well, I need to <laughs> set my shortcuts to her arts to, uh, to be water-based. And you can see here, I, I uh, haven't even changed my shortcuts for a long time. I still have... Um, Carol's nice aid smash and stuff in here, so I'm just going through here. Switching back to Estelle for healing, because I will need heal. And for down, I'm going to use her resurrection. That way if someone dies, we don't have to use up all our life bottles. That's another problem that, that, that I had Shall with my previous uh, try on this. I ran out of life bottles. We have 15 of them. Uh, that's what, one reason I say I hate uh, inventory management, because you only have 15 life bottles. And yes! I did a fatal strike. Sleepy Bubble! Uh, that is, like, the worst attack. Uh, it, it does a lot of damage. It does more damage than you can think it would. Uh, it only looks like it does 160 damage times a couple, but it actually hits like five or six times, and it can KO a nearly full health character, especially if you're under level. So, whenever you see that, you're really going to want to uh, guard for it. Um, once again, I'm running out of TP items. This is what happens every time I go and, uh, and grind a little bit, is I just run out of TP items. But yeah, you got Yuri sitting there, just, just standing, and... Rita died for the first time, and uh, I really should have canceled Yuri's item usage because I had Estelle use Resurrection. Oh well, that's a waste of a spell. Uh, so now I'm just going in here and, and having her cast Nurse because I don't have a shortcut for that. And uh, luckily in this fight, for some reason he's not targeting Estelle very much. A lot of the time half of my problem is he targets Estelle, who does have a lot of uh, defense, but even even with that defense, uh, she can die pretty easily. You know, defense isn't that, that great. I mean, there she got hit with Sleepy Bubble and nearly died, so I'm gonna have her uh, gonna heal her up pretty quick. And I forget, I don't have Item Thrower on Judith. Yet. And that was waste. So yeah, now I actually do want Yuri to use a light bottle. There are two ways to play this game, I've found. You can be super aggressive and always run in and, and deal a ton of damage. Or you can... In order to do that effectively, you need to be good at guarding, which I obviously am not very good at guarding. You need to know your skills. You need to be comfortable with your skills. and. I kind of am pretty comfortable with how I have my skills set up, but uh, <laughs> I like this part right here. I get that life bottle up just in time for for uh, Rita to stay alive, or Rita to get benefit out of it. Um, but the other way is to stand back, like what I'm doing right now, and and uh, do some strategy. And if you're if you know what you're doing, which I just kind of didn't really do much with Rita, and I should have. You can, uh, you can control a lot of the characters from way back. If I were smart here, I'd be having Rita stand back and force her to use uh, water spells left and right here while I'm running around. I just never really did that much. Right there, I did have her use Splash. Basically, every time you see her use water skills, I'm having her use Splash, which is kind of dumb. But now his HP is pretty low, he's almost dead, and we just barely get Yuri up in time 
to kill it. Yeah, we're done. And we got a crap ton of gold from him. Still going. Still going. There we go. 8,000 gold. Uh, got some good grade out of it. Every time you defeat a boss, of course, you get a ton of grade. I also used two burst starts, two fatal strikes. Had max HP with Estelle at the end. And I cooked a sandwich. I'm pretty happy about this boss. Could have been a little better, but... Oh well. Ooh, that's nice. I'm not done yet. That's the logical app. Oh, I feel so powerful. 